Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to talk about problems big and small. Um, I got a friend. I talked to him last night, and he, he's feeling a little down. He's feeling a little down. See, a few months ago, he accidentally started a community network. Didn't mean to, but it happened. It's him and two guys from uh, his job site. He works at a construction site. And somebody's second cousin's third grandma or something needed a, a ramp built at their house, a, a wheelchair ramp. And they're like, well, well, we'll do it. And the boss, he's like, yeah, I, I have no problem with y'all taking scrap to go and, and make people's homes more accessible. Yeah, have at it. Do what you need to do. So they went and did it. it was supposed to be a one-off thing. It's supposed to be just, you know, favor for a friend of a friend of a friend. And then they got a call, and they did it again the next weekend. And now they're doing it like every other weekend. They're helping to make people's homes more accessible. But he feels down because he says that almost every time he goes to uh, one of these houses, there's some other problem that needs to be addressed. And a lot of times, they can't do anything about it something beyond making the home more accessible. One of the examples he gave, and this one they were actually able to solve, they were lowering the counters in a home and realized that there was nothing in any of the cupboards. They didn't have any food. So he wound up reaching out to another community network that kind of runs a food bank and got food. In that case, they were able to do something about it. But a lot of times they haven't been able to. They haven't been able to solve all of their problems, the people that they're helping. I think that this is one of the main reasons that people who get active and get out there and get hands-on, I think this is one of the main reasons they burn out. Because there are so many problems. Big ones. Big problems that individuals or small groups of people, realistically, they can't solve them. Just keep in mind that there, there's no problem too small either. What they're doing is materially improving people's lives. It's making their lives better. But because there's so many other issues, he, he feels down. And I think for a lot of people, <laughs> this is why they never get started. Forget burnout for a second. I think there's a lot of people who look at all of the issues and say, well, what can I do? You can lower the counters. You may not be able to solve all of the problems, but nobody's asking you to. Nobody thinks you can. There are a lot of issues in the world today that people like us, we can't solve. We don't have the power to solve them. Even if we do end up coordinating with some other network that has more resources, it's still going to be too much. But nobody's asking for one little group of people to solve all the problems of the world. You do what you can. If you have the means, well, then you have the responsibility. You do what you can, when you can, where you can, for as long as you can. And that's all anybody can ask. Don't uh, get discouraged because you can't solve every problem. The little ones, they may mean more to people than you think. They may really be altering the way they live. Um, as we uh, hopefully start to get back to normal and more and more people get active again and get out there and get hands on, don't burn out because you can't solve all of, all of the problems. <laughs> There's a bunch. There's more than enough to go around. Focus on the ones you can solve. And if you are feeling deterred because you don't know where to start, just pick any of them at random. Because once you get active and get hands-on, believe me, more will come up. And you'll find your... Uh, your calling, the thing that you're really good at, the thing that you can do the most good with. 
And once you find it, stick to it. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.